I'm gonna take Mike Dalexel and everybody else in front of me. I didn't have a big amateur career, you know, I, I uh, started early, you know, as a young kid, but I mean, I didn't even get my first amateur after four years of training, you know, so I had a lot, I put in a lot of work in the gym, a lot of time, so I think that gives me a lot of credit, you know, that would, would have built me up to where I'm at now, fighting these guys with a big amateur background, I mean, I've been around as long as they have, I just didn't want the amateur fight, so I have something to show them, you know, and uh, I usually surprise them all until now. Fighting Mike Dallas this month, a couple weeks away. Once again, you're walking in as the underdog. What is that like to you? Uh, well, it's pretty much the same. I mean, I'm still gonna do what I'm gonna do, you know? I'm gonna go in there and beat the guy, so I'm an underdog or not. I mean, it doesn't change nothing, really. You, you consider this like a step up, Mike um, Dallas? I think so, you know? Um, each fight, I think each fight I'm getting now is a step up, so, I mean, they're all different styles out there, so, I mean, I don't think it'll make them harder or easier, you know, you just don't know the difference, so. I'm gonna try them out, and it's some new, some new style for me, and uh, I think I can handle it. You know? What was the win to the Russian? What was it? What did that mean to you? You're, that was like one of the biggest fights of your career. Yeah, it was. You know, like going into that fight, uh, I think nobody had me winning. You know, everybody thought, you know, this is a fight where uh, maybe it didn't, you know, stop me in my career. Whatever they said was tough, and uh, I don't think nobody expected me to win that fight, and I surprised a lot of people. So it made me uh, even more confident. Now I. Hope people see that uh, there's a new guy coming around and uh, better be careful. So here we are a few months later, you're fighting a, a Mike Dallas, totally different fighter. What do you bring to the table this time in, in terms of training? What did you do different in this training camp? Um, a lot. Each fight uh, we just train harder and smarter and uh, for this fight we worked a lot on our uh, legs, uh, footwork and uh, hand speed and uh, you know, in the jab, straighten up the jab a little more, getting harder, stiffer and that's going to be the key, of course, one of my fights is the jab. Uh, that's what's coming in this fight. Do you consider yourself an underdog fighting Mike Dallas? Uh, I don't think, me, myself, I don't think I should have been an underdog. I mean, I don't know, maybe he's a little more popular, maybe they see him around more on ESPN, and I don't know, maybe that's how he got uh, to be you know, above me, but me, myself, I don't think I should have been the underdog, but uh, we'll see that night. Maybe how, the next fight will change the rounds. How do you feel about, like, other fighters, you see them getting, like, more exposure than you? Uh, it kind of sucks, you know, I want to kind of get out there too and uh, I see a lot of these guys uh, are moving up fast and they're, they're fighting guys who are uh, not a really good competition, you know, and they're moving up the ladder faster than me. You know, I feel I have been fighting some tougher guys and uh, I'm still a little behind, so I mean, I guess that's how boxing works, you know, but I'm sure I can keep working hard, just keep focused and I'll get there. You've seen Mike Dallas fight Josecito Lopez, Do you, did you see any flaws? Yeah, I, I mean, I see, we've seen some stuff. Uh, there's not too much video on him, but uh, I just uh, go on the interviews and watching him and see how he carries himself. You know, I see a lot of those things. You know, I don't want to say too much, and you know, I, I, I see a lot of things that I, I know I can uh, count on. Do you see the fight going the distance? Uh, I think maybe going the distance. If not, uh, I think we we're probably gonna, we're going to try to stop him, and hopefully before the, you know the last two rounds, three rounds, you know, we slow him down, and maybe he'll maybe fit on the score. Where, where do you want to be at in a year from now? Well, fighting the best, always, you know. Uh, whoever's out there and, uh, okay, you know, seeing how Thompson is guiding my career, hopefully they uh, hopefully they take me up higher by the end of the year. I mean, I don't want to go back down, down, you know, it's only up from here. So if that means a championship by the end of the year, I mean, we'll take it.